What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial, and this is going to be on how to do an isometric bridge. So if you guys don't know what a bridge looks like, um, a piece of your eyes has a car on it too. But um, this is what a bridge is, and it's going to be an isometric one, so it's going to have that kind of uh, isometric look to it. So, if you guys want to download the Lightroom, um, go ahead, it'll be in the description. You have to pay for it, but it's on my cell phone, and the money would be much appreciated. But uh, you guys can just make your own uh, isometric uh, Lightroom if you guys go on my one tutorial. It's like basics of um, isometric. But uh, we're going to be making this bridge, and uh, it's really easy. So uh, what I'm going to do is just delete like the bridge itself and like the trees and stuff. I'm just going to start from uh, scratch, but I'm going to keep my uh, I'm gonna keep my like floor thing because I like that. All right, so. I just have this. It's just like water, shitty water that I made, and then I have my uh, my grass. So to get this really going forward and getting started, we gotta start building it. So what we're gonna do is go and just click a cube, and then we're gonna start working from the right side. So we just put this cube in the ground, and then we'll just drag it anywhere we like. And then, I don't know about you, but a bridge isn't that wide, so I'm gonna kind of like bring it in the sides and then I can click right here and just bring it up a little taller so we can just mess around with that so we have like a little cube that high and we control C control V that and then I'll bring it down more oh, excuse me so it's like a cube kind of thing and then I'm gonna bring the sides out hopefully the same width but it doesn't really matter to that much and then bring those down and then you can just render preview that see how that looks so you have like the basic thing right here at like the bottom part and then what you do is control C control V that which is copy and paste and just put it on top of this part and you see how that looks so uh, I think this is kind of too big so I can just make it a little smaller maybe a little bigger from that and then I can make the middle block a little higher, so like that. And then move that up. So, you got pretty much getting a bridge look going on. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is just can take the top layer, Control C, Control V that. And then take right here and bring it in. And then bring it in, so it's kind of like a box in the middle. And then we're just going to bring it up a little bit. down like another half step there you go and then uh we're gonna go to this one and we're gonna control c v control c control v that to copy and paste it and we're gonna bring the sides in like that and then down and then back in and then you guys can like put bring it together more and just bring it to the, out to the side and then try to center that and what you can do is if you download Lightroom, you can delete the one camera thing. I'm pretty sure you're able to zoom around and stuff. Thought so at least. But uh, you can just take that and bring it out barely. And then try to center it from your view. Like that. And then you can, can just render preview that, see how that looks. And uh, I guess you can't see that. So it's not enough, so you're just going to take it and then bring it out a little more. There you go. So we're going to start to color it now, and what we're going to do is make the bottom lighter and then have like, the stuff darker. So I'm going to take a dark gray that I have pre-made and put that on there. If you guys want to copy it, it's 179 for RGB. Luminance is at 18% and then reflections at 25 so if I render preview that, see how it looks, that color. Alright, and then I'll just take my uh, more shinier one. Let me see how that looks first before I tell you guys the colors. That's right, fine. And then I double click that, it's 2255, or yeah, 202 for the color, and then it's 25 for the brightness, 18 for luminance. And I'm going to just take my bright color and put them on those extra things that we made. 
and then we're gonna preview that. Uh, sorry, I'm getting over like a cold or something. I don't know. Got something on my nose, but I just gotta make the top one dark. Sorry, totally, totally forgot to pick that one up. So you like the start of your bridge, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start getting into more detail now. So what we're gonna do is make the indent for where the bridge things go. So you're gonna make a cube, and then bring it long ways and bring it up, and obviously you're gonna shrink it that way and bring it down more just like that and then we're gonna go to the one right here that ray thing go to bow bool bool I don't know what to call it and put that in there and then you're gonna take your uh, big cube and put that above your uh, small one so it puts an indent and then you add your uh, your dark color to the bottom cube so if you go back and render preview it, it makes the indent for you. And then you can just take it and bring it up. You can pretty much put it wherever you like. So just going to put it there. Sorry, I sound really tired right now. Holy shit. But uh, yeah, put it right there. And uh, yeah, next we're going to start doing the other one. So what you do is just take all of it, except for the water, all of it, control C, control V, and then bring it across like that. And you don't really need to mess with anything else. Next thing we're gonna do is take a, another cube, and then we're gonna bring it long ways. We're gonna bring it up, and then we're gonna have to bring it down like a road. So, Oops. but uh, these dot things are clear. That's pretty much what I use to do sizing. And a lot of other stuff. So if I go like that, and then let's say we add a lighter one on that, see how that looks for a road. All right. So obviously the road is not just only the bridge; it always goes outside of it. So we do that, and then we can uh, actually just put the darker version on that, and then Control C, Control V that, and then bring in the sides, and then bring bring it like up a little bit, and then bring it to like the side where. Uh, like a bridge would have uh, those safety things, I forget they're called, like the like barricade on the side. And then you can add uh, any color you'd like, but I'm going to keep it those dark colors and I'm going to render preview it and see if it's too high or too low. So I think it's fine. So, uh, Next, I'm going to add the road going down. So what I'll do is take this uh, one layer, Control c Control v that. Bring it here. Obviously, make it smaller. And then just point it downwards. And then try to... Kind of angle it, I guess. I don't, I don't know what to... You gotta, like, size it up and stuff. Which takes pretty much a long time, but it's, it's alright. So, you just keep render previewing it to see how it looks. So, we got like the, like the road itself. And yeah, the other one part going down, but I'm going to try to get these connected. Alright, that's good enough since like roads don't always have like, that perfect smoothing thing. So what you do with this is just control C, control V it, bring the sides together, bring it up, and then you do the same thing that you did to the other side. And then you can render preview it. And uh, should be coming along pretty nicely like a bridge, since this is what we're making. So you have that. And then you can just take these uh, three layers that you made, control C, control V them, and then dip them the other way. About 20, I think 20 degrees, maybe a little more, like 23. And then you bring it like down, and then you'll bring it back up. And then you pretty much just put it to the edge of the corner, and then render preview it and see how it looks. 
you can't really get this part exact unless you just don't have a camera on it and then you can just go around and look but uh, that's pretty much guessing right now and it looks pretty good so next we're going to be adding the uh, kind of like helper bar things so I'm going to go there you go. Oh, now I can zoom in but uh, I'm going to go to the cube and go to cylinder I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees with the blue one or I can go down here and type in 90 I'm going to bring it up height I can just mess with later um, radius I'll bring this down to about 3 and then I'm going to put this one on kind of this corner control C control V and then put it on this corner and then I'll put the dark gray that I have on this both so if I render preview that obviously that's what it looks like but uh, I don't believe they're big enough oh, yeah, I don't think they look big enough so I can bump them up to five and then re-render preview and it looks fine so I can just take the cylinder control C control V it bring it across and then bring it down so I point it downwards and I can just like angle it down put it to like, the top corner and just kind of angle it down move it so it's like that make sure it's center or in the top of the corners and then just move it over that one's gonna be difficult so you can put it like right there and uh, you're going to need to click this and then scale them down lengthwise so you can have them uh, like angled perfectly so I can just bring it down actually and it works and then you the dark rays are already on it that's not what I wanted there we go and the dark rays ready on it and then you just take these control C control V them and you can uh, rotate these this way about I want to say like 75 percent or whatever and then bring it up and then back down and you just gotta like put these somewhere like that and then you can render preview and see how it looks and it's obviously a lot easier if you can just go on the other side and look but uh i can't so i uh, obviously these aren't what we're wanting for so i can just bring them up like that and bring them across and then i'll delete the one on the other side control c control v the other one and bring it across and that's where you go so bridge is coming along nicely all we gotta do is put like the things in the road and then we'll be fine so uh while i'm doing this i'm under previewing it uh 50 likes and I'll release the Cinema 4D file for this, except for my Lightroom. I will not be included. I will just delete the stuff. Oops. But uh, yeah, 50 likes and I will release the Cinema 4D file for this. Oops. So to just finish this tutorial off, we're going to Control C, Control V, the middle bridge. Bring them together closely, like the middle of a road, like the lines. Bring them kind of across. And then bring it up a little bit so it just breaches the surface. And then make it a light color. And if you're under preview it, if you can see it, that means you're doing it good. So. Oh, looks like I can't see it. So I just go back to it, lift it up a bit. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm really tired. It's like 9.37. I just got back from my girlfriend's house and I'm just like beat right now. Alright, so yeah, that's fine. And then I'm just going to take it, Control c Control v put one there, Control c Control v and then bring it there. Then I'll take this one back and put it there, Control c Control v put it there. And then I can start guessing right here, so I won't show. There, and then pretty much there is fine. 
Alright, and then you just take a control C, control V, and then bring it to this side, and then you have to angle it so if you scroll around over here. Just take this and angle it, and then bring it down. And then across. And then control C, control V. Just like that. Obviously, this isn't angled correctly, but I'm doing it fast because this tutorial is taking forever. 15 minutes, uh, it's not that bad. I just don't feel like spending forever on it. Pretty sure you guys get the concept of it. And uh, just do the same on the other side. So you can just take this. Just like that. And then. And then you can scroll back out, and then go back to like here, and then re-render preview it. So uh, I'll let you guys look at this for a little bit, and uh, try to fix yours, but uh, while I talk over you guys. So uh, I'm starting to do lacrosse in school, for school sports, so I am not going to be as active as I always am. I'm going to try to get an upload schedule going for 1k, you guys will have that update video, and I'm probably doing a giveaway as well. So, uh, keep your eyes out for that. If I don't do that, I'll probably do something else. I'm not doing a pack, though. I've done enough packs, and the next pack will probably be for, like, 2K, which uh, actually shouldn't be that long. But uh, a new pack would be out later, not soon. But uh, this is how you do an isometric bridge, and uh, if you guys need any help with this, if I went too slow, if I went too fast, if I was too boring, let me know. I'm really tired right now, so I'm sorry if I don't that sound like a enthused or however you say that but I'm just really tired and uh, this just want to bust this out for you guys because I'm trying to get my every other day upload schedule back but uh, it's gonna be kind of hard so I need to like, go to doctors um physical therapy for my shoulder and so much other shit that's going on but um yeah this is just an easy tutorial I will leave the cinema 4d link in the description at 50 likes uh, Thank you guys for so much for 900 subscribers. I was in school when I got it, and I didn't really notice until one of my friends told me about it. So that's pretty sick. But, um, yeah. I guess that's about it. So if you guys like this tutorial, if you guys like these isometric tutorials, please leave a like and a comment telling me so, and I'll just try to keep doing more. I'm going to go back to Photoshop soon for you guys, for some of the Photoshop fanatics that uh, need help. But uh, I'll probably won't go back until I start getting more requests. Some of my requests are like only for isometric stuff. So uh, yeah, if this video breaks 100 likes, or if I get 1k, I'll just say by next week, I guess, then I will do a Cross Your Road banner tutorial. So, it's coming out soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment, or a like, or just add me on Skype, Twitter, it's up here. But uh, that's it. Really hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.